Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee were two of the biggest stars of their generation. While starring together in the film Fire Over England, the pair became involved in an affair. Both were married at the time, though they left their respective spouses for each other. Despite being married for nearly 20 years, Lawrence and Vivian's relationship was troubled. Vivian suffered from mental health issues, and Lawrence claimed one of Vivian's most memorable roles exacerbated them. Join Facts First as we explore why Lawrence Olivier felt Vivian Lee lost herself after this role. When Lawrence Olivier and Vivian Lee started their romance, they were already two of Hollywood's biggest stars. They had to keep it a secret since they were both married. When they were finally able to reveal their romance to the public and become husband and wife, they became one of the most powerful couples in the entertainment industry. They worked together professionally, though they didn't always get along. Though their marriage was troubled, Lawrence and Vivian's longtime relationship started off as a whirlwind romance that saw both stars falling head over heels with the other. Vivian Lee was born in India to British colonialists and made her first appearance on stage at age three. That appearance saw the young girl singing a nursery rhyme on stage at the amateur theater company where her mother performed. At age six, Vivian was sent to London to attend boarding school. It wasn't long after this that she began dreaming of becoming a star. Vivian had decided she wanted to become an actress when she grew up, when she was still very young. She began pursuing this goal vehemently, enrolling in a prestigious drama school at 18. She began attending the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts in London, but soon into her tenure there, she found herself having a change of heart. She had met a man named Herbert Lee Holman, and he thought Vivian's dreams of becoming a star were silly. When Vivian married Herbert, she quit attending the Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts. Soon after this, she gave birth to a daughter. Years later, she reignited her dreams of becoming a star and resumed performing. She began taking roles both on stage and in films, and eventually broke out as a major Hollywood star. While Vivian had learned to perform from her mother, who was an amateur actress, Laurence Olivier had learned to perform from his father, who was a priest. Laurence claimed to have learned a good deal of his dramatic skills from studying his father while he was performing his sermons. Though his father's penchant for the dramatic saw him gravitate towards his venerated speaking role at the church, Lawrence saw a future for himself on stage. He began performing in plays at his school when he was 10, and those in his family believed he had star potential. Once Lawrence came of age, he studied acting for a short period before beginning to perform with a repertory company. It was during this time that he met the woman who became his first wife. That woman was Jill Esmond. Lawrence and Jill wed in 1932, Though Lawrence shared later in his life, he believed he and Jill were never really in love. In fact, many have suggested Jill may have been a lesbian. In the mid-1930s, Lawrence Olivier first caught the eye of Vivian Lee. She saw him performing at a theater with a friend and was so mesmerized by the actor's famously physical brand of performance, she instantly assumed he would be just as physical of a lover. Vivian went on to find out that this wasn't quite the case, as Lawrence could never quite keep her physically satisfied during their long relationship. However, the two certainly got a lot out of each other during the early days of the relationship. They began writing each other letters, even though they were married to other people. According to one of Vivian's friends, the actress claimed on the first day she saw Lawrence on stage, she was going to marry the actor. When they were cast together as lovers in the 1936 feature Fire Over England, they couldn't help themselves from falling into an extramarital affair. This affair eventually caused the dissolution of both their marriages paving the way for both of them to become the other's second spouse. Despite lasting for nearly two decades, their marriage was apparently tumultuous and filled with various scandals. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee. Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee played lovers in the film Fire Over England, and they subsequently became lovers in real life. Though both stars were married at the time, they simply couldn't help themselves. Vivian had become adamant she wanted to become romantically involved with Lawrence after seeing him perform on stage, and Lawrence soon found himself falling similarly head over heels for her. The two were forced to keep their romance as private as possible due to their respective marriages. However, the fact that the two stars were having an affair soon became public knowledge in Hollywood. Though Lawrence and Vivian were already huge stars when they became involved, they became bigger stars soon after becoming married. Vivian received her biggest role yet with the film adaptation of Gone with the Wind. While Lawrence similarly saw success with his appearance, 
in the film adaptation of Wuthering Heights. When the two couldn't be together due to their work, it allegedly drove them mad. Despite the fact they had to keep their relationship a secret, they had become essentially inseparable. In 1940, Lawrence and Vivian finally talked their respective spouses into going through with divorces. Lawrence's first wife got custody of their son, while Vivian's first husband got custody of their daughter. The two were free to start a new life together, and they did so in August of that year. After tying the knot in August, the two stars were finally free to show the public they were really in love. But their public marriage ended up being filled with scandal over the ensuing decades. Once they were married in real life, Lawrence and Vivian continued to perform together both on the stage and in film. On the big screen, the two could be seen together in films such as That Hamilton Woman. Meanwhile, they enjoyed putting on theatrical programs together, including starring in a 1940 production of Romeo and Juliet. There were numerous problems that plagued Lawrence and Vivian early on in their nearly two-decade marriage. One of the things that haunted it was the fact that critics never seemed to consider Vivian quite as good of an actress as Lawrence was. Despite her being an award-winning actress in her own right, she had chosen to marry one of the most critically acclaimed actors of his day. While both could certainly give incredible performances when they were in their element, the differences between their styles were often too apparent in their collaborations. Besides the fact that critics always liked Lawrence Olivier more, another thing that hurt his marriage to Vivian was the fact that she suffered from numerous mental issues. Vivian would often snap and begin yelling at Lawrence for little to no reason. The morning after these incidents, the actress could rarely remember what she'd done. These kinds of episodes led to her being diagnosed with bipolar disorder or manic depression. The condition was much more stigmatic at the time than it is now, and it certainly didn't bode well for Vivian's professional career. After Vivian's mental health worsened, so did her physical health. She suffered from both tuberculosis and a miscarriage over the course of the 40s, and there was a notorious public incident in which she and Lawrence had slapped each other during a verbal dispute. In 1951, Vivian was cast in the role of Blanche Dubois in the film adaptation of A Streetcar Named Desire. Due to her mental troubles, Vivian was the perfect fit for the role and perfectly embodied the character. Sadly, performing in the role didn't end up being the best thing for her mental state. According to Laurence Olivier, Vivian Lee essentially lost herself after performing in the role of Blanche Dubois. Though both she and the film received immense acclaim, Vivian was never quite the same. The actress had already fallen quite a bit due to both her mental issues and failing health, and it wasn't long before it all came crashing down. In 1953, she was fired from the production of a film called Elephant Walk because she was having hallucinations and uncontrollable fits of rage. She suffered another miscarriage soon after this, and it was only a little later that she and Lawrence finally ended their marriage. They divorced in 1960 and both went on to marry other people. Vivian died in 1967 at age 53, and Lawrence died in 1989 at age 82. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Lawrence Olivier and Vivian Lee were both married to other people when they met? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.